What's up guys and welcome back to another episode with me, Link to Killer, playing some Magic Arena, yeah! And uh, since my Green Black Goodness deck um, did pretty good, I figured we'll give this a try with Mono Green. I am a Mono Green type player, I love I love green cards. Um, they got hit pretty hard from the banding, um, but... But this deck doesn't use any of it. It uses some early game ramp. As you can see, the Paradise Druid and the Guild Goose. With some good beaters and some removers. And just just all the good stuff you can get in green, pretty much. Um, yeah, we got the Nessa for the ramp. And the make three threes. Uh, he's here to double their power. Questing Beast, just because he's, he's everything. He has a new line of text every week. No high because it's a 6-6 six, six with Hexproof. That's kind of hard for four mana. Pretty good. We have a... No, the dinosaur made it to the deck again. Um, pretty good. Uh, Vivian, just just a good card. And then we just got a lower stuff for here. I'm on the fence on this one. I don't know how well it's going to work. But we'll try it out today. I don't have a in life, so I don't know how well it's going to work. But uh, pretty good. Tap it. Make two green and get two life. And then whenever a non-creature enters the battlefield under your control, you get a plus one counter on it and draw a card. So it sounds good on paper, but we're just going to have to see. So let's go into one game of Unranked and see how it works. All right, guys. We're playing a game of Unranked of Mono Green Goodness. Um, yeah, we'll keep it. This is questionable, but we'll keep it just to see how it works. Um, yeah, so, I play test this a lot, and it seems to work pretty decent, so I'm wondering how it's going to work today. Apparently, we're just going to draw all the lands, which is fun. We can draw all the lands. That's pretty expensive until we get some more. Okay. Fear the Pulk Collector. Fear it. We got a bulk high troll, which is pretty good at 3-3 three, three for 2. Um, you can get it for 1, that's fine. I'm not going to block that piece of junk. Oh my god, are you serious? You gotta love the fact that I get arena a lot with the lands. Let's do that. We'll get in for 3 because I'm not blocking anything next turn. And I feel like there's a uh, spell or some sort coming my way. So how do you use this four and tap this? Okay, so we're we're a little ways from that. I don't know why, but I always think the hair is like her jaw or something, or blood that's splattered. Fine. Right there. Kinda wanna make the troll a pretty big boy. I've survived an apocalypse. I will survive. Um, yeah, we'll just put him on there. That's fine. So we got a five half. Oh yeah. We're fit enough to survive. And we're gonna just swing it for five. That's fine. Vivian's gonna get punched in the face for the three. And then next turn we could play a Great Hinge, a land, Paradise Drew, a draw card. So I think we're in good shape. That's fine. No. Depending on how you draw. I might want to draw that. Well, you're annoying. Um. Let's. We'll do this. Um. Power collector. Gets a counter. Draw no land. Perfect. Fine. Gain two life. I mean, 
sure. Dragar. Um. I mean, this is pretty good. My, my, how you've grown. Uh, no attacks. Next turn we'll kill his vampire of their dire moon with Vivian's minus three. I, I really enjoyed his Vivian. She's actually pretty strong. At first when I saw her, I didn't think she was that good, but uh, the abilities to do things is pretty awesome. All right. So we have plays. So I kind of want to minus three kill resolve. Bye bye. No. You picked the wrong fight. Um. Do that. Interesting. Play that. Get the camera. Oh my gosh. Um, two. Auto play. Play, we're going to fight. I mean, okay. Draw card. Uh, go to combat. Swing in for a lot. Ten mana. Face. Passage. I don't know what our opponent can do right now. He's up against the ropes. Mono green goodness is he's moving. There you go. Alright guys. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Alright guys, we are back with mono green goodness. Um one game one in unranked, so that's pretty cool. Let's try this hand out and um hope we can do some crazy stiff. So we got a goose. I'm saying there's a chance. We're playing against Gruel. Looks like. Oh, oh, that's not good. Play this dude. He's a 4 4 for 3, which is not bad. Always pretty good. Next turn, we can do Bolt, High Troll, and Gilded Goose. Get some value, make him a 6-6. Six, six. Not a bad trade. That is perfectly fine with me, sir. Oh my gosh. Uh, Gildicus. Trigger. Fuck off, Trigger. Trigger. Uh, go to combat. Swing in for 6. Six damage. Oh my gosh. Pass the turn. Next turn, we could probably just go quest and bees and just go straight to face for 14. Yeah, 14 next turn if he doesn't play a creature. It's pretty good. You got it, my friend. Go searching. Oh, he's gonna get two cards, that's true. Can't play none, so that's game. Yeah, I'm not gonna give you a chance to use that, my friend. Three, nine, thirteen, fourteen. So, yeah, I think that's game. Pass. Okay. Turn 4 win with Mono Green, that's pretty uh, boss. 
It's pretty good. Alright, guys. I'll catch y'all in a... another match. Alright, guys. We're here playing mono red, mono red, mono green goodness in our first ranked matchup. I feel like that's more of a threat. If we can somehow get Nessa down on turn three, that will be a first for me. I don't think I ever got her that off that quick. Looks like we're going up against Mono Green Elementals. Pass. Sounds good to me, my friend. My turn. I'm gonna draw a land, that's cool. Go to combat, swing for three. Uh, Pokemon? Pass the turn. That's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Well, there's five to adapt it, so we don't have to worry about that. Um. I guess technically. Nah, we don't have to worry about it because that's one, two, three, four, and tap that. That gives you six. Yeah, I don't. My opponent has anything for us, to be honest with you. I'm going to get a counter. I'm going to plus her. Untap the land. Rise, my elemental friend. I'm just gonna go ahead and swing in with that. I mean, you, you can't afford to take all that. That's a lot of damage to your face. It's pretty good. can't swing in technically with his incubation droid because I can double block and kill it. I mean, Nessa's still a pretty good option. Together, we will prevail. Now it's like, what do we do? Do we just go straight to face? I mean, I can block and kill it. It's so bad. It's so bad. The land fights for us. Yeah. Oh, love it, terror. That's fine. That's fine. Maybe able to um, alter next turn, which would be awesome. Yeah. I didn't make a food token. <laughs> we can jump block the incubation drop, my friend. Ness is at one, so you need to do something pretty good. Although we got a chump block and a gilded goose, so we're good. Yeah, that's fine. Go. Harness the elements. You want to swing, man? It's a pretty good game, I think. Pretty good game. Um, I'm gonna make food. I'm a pretty hungry person. Um, I mean, I 
think that's the land shall come for you. This game taps the stuff so weird. Bum, bum. And we just go swing this straight to face. Not you, though. And that's game? This is where he, like... Uh, what was the card? Um, something. Root, root Snare. Prevent all combat damage. Got him. <laughs> Delivering... Massive damage to the face hole. Alright, guys. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Alright, guys. We are back. Playing some mono green goodness. Uh, this is probably going to be the last game for today. I'm sorry, it's going to be a short one, but uh, I, have, I have too much stuff to do before I go on vacation for a week. So, I apologize for this video being short. Aw, uh, I want to go first. So we're playing against black or white. Not good color combinations for us. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna drop a paradise turret. Put it down on the collector, swing in for two. Gotta get that damage in there. Um, do I trade? I don't think we trade. Card too. Do I trade? Do I trade? I don't think we trade. We take the one. All right. So, questing piece. Good. And I really don't care if my top player like dies. To be honest with you. Trigger, trigger. Next turn, Nessa would not be bad. Is that moss on his arm? Yeah, I think that's moss on his arm. That's pretty cool. Opponent's thinking. Probably gonna kill the paradise druid, and then we're just gonna go fall back on our creature plan. Over our heads. That is fine with me, actually. Um, do we have five mana? Swing for four. Straight to your face. Because I was at death touch. That's fine. Nessa's gonna get hit in the face for a little bit, so I'm sorry, Nessa. But uh you're the decoy. That's what you're you're here for, sadly. That's fine. What are you searching for? <laughs> what are you searching? your plans, Mr. Bond. Come on. You have a lot of mana. Five mana. That's a lot. Three, six, nine, thirteen. Technically, I have lethal next turn. I mean... Oh. Rise, my elemental friend. Um... Is it worth it or Do you Questing beast. 
I said we just pass the turn and see what he does. I'm pretty sure he's going to try swinging in with the uh, Sir Conrad the Grim and Bloodthirsty Art Artit Artitulus? Artit however you say it. Um, that is a problem. Um, that's fine. That is perfectly fine with me. It's a battlefield, you can use one life in any one life. That's fine. You wanna swing at Nessa? She's a big decoy. Alright. Alrighties. Most likely he's gonna block with the dude that's not flying. <laughs> he's like looking at Eric Gar like, what's going on? What is the trick? Perfect. That's actually pretty good. Now we do need to watch out for board wipes to damage. But it's fine. We'll both die. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Oh, uh, this all wrong. Can't do nothing about it. Uh, question, please? <laughs> yeah. He is back. Back again. Make on land. Oh, I'm sorry. Go, Bill. Now. He has to. Uh oh. Ow. Now he has to swing at Nessa or else I alter next turn. And I get all of the force. Which would be amazing. But I have tricks up my sleeve too. I don't I don't see a way out for him. Unless he has a board wipe and then he just swings all out the Nessa block and then I die. I mean Yeah. Resolve. I feel like Paradise Druid would be a bad thing. It's a pretty good game, actually. I'm getting beat down. Because Nessa is a beast. I just... I don't know. It's going to be a close one. I can see that. Two mana. What can you do with two mana? 16. 9. 12. 16. I have 21 on board. You, you have to swing, right? You're not gonna swing? Okay. I'm on altar. And I messed up. I should have tapped Lance. It's fine. Eternal. Yep, I messed up. It's okay, though. Oh, my lands are indestructible. Hey, I got land. Hey, I got an SM2. <laughs> He's like, oh my god. His lands are indestructible. Even if he kills him, it's fine. Because I have indestructible land. I just want to go to face. <laughs> go to face? To blockers. So your big dude, his 5-4 has to block the quest beats if he wants 
Um, the other can't block quest, block quests and beasts, but they can block elsewhere. All our lands are indestructible, so chum blocking will not save them this time. So that's three, six, nine, thirteen, eighteen damage on board. That's pretty good. Next turn, that's definitely game next turn if he doesn't kill me somehow. Waste those time outs. Waste them. Waste them. You have chose poorly. So that's 6, 10, 15. Put you to 1. It is a creature every deck, so it's going to suck for me. Ow. It's not bad. Here go. Can you do six damage in a turn? I don't think you can do six damage in a turn. You gain some life. I have 18 lands on the field. That's amazing. Let's see what our opponent can do with five mana. That is a board wipe, but my, again, my. Lions are indestructible, so there'll be three threes on the ground still. So. Which is pretty pretty much amazing. Pretty much amazing. I don't see a way out, because that'll be <laughs> put into two. I mean okay. Good game. I guess you could activate this twice, hoping to hit something. No. That could actually kill me. That sucks. This is a close game. Opponent's taking for 30 years to decide what to do. There you go. One. You whiffed, my friend. Yeah, needed something else. I mean, that's, that's not that hard either. It's like, I don't uh, uptick. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Because I think they lose the game before I lose life. I think. This game, man. So you do dies. You did. Stop looking at the cards. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Hey. Technically, he would have two triggers if he wasn't dead, but we won. I'll catch y'all on the wrap up. So guys, what did we learn today? We learned that Mono Green is still pretty beastly without Once Upon a Time and Veil vale of the Summer. I think those two cards not being in the deck didn't really hurt it. Um, we had some really good games. We went 4-0 today. 2 and unranked 2 and ranked. And uh, yeah, this deck looks pretty good. I might build it in paper because I have most of it except for these, the Great Hedge. Hinge? Hedge? Whatever. But overall, I think the deck performed way better than I thought it would. Um, I wouldn't know what to change. Maybe y'all can let me know in the uh, comments down below, what would y'all change? But, uh, I know in the sidebar we'll probably run some more of these guys. Maybe one more of those, one more of those. Um, other than that, that'll probably be the only thing I do is add a sideboard. But, it's pretty good. I am very happy with this deck. And we had a good night. So, hopefully y'all had a great day. Hopefully y'all like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you check out the Ada Hub where I post all the deck lists from the previous deck episodes. And I will catch y'all on the next one. Until then, peace.